what is this great deception which is uh, spoken of in the Bible? There's a great, great, great deception which the Bible speaks about. Now, usually when people speak of the great deception, they refer to 2 Thessalonians uh, 2 verses 11, uh, which says, For this cause God shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they may all be damned who, who believed not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Now, we see the great deception. Okay, So this deception predicts that God... God will, in an end times judgment, send a powerful delusion or a powerful state of mind. You know, uh, delusion, I tend to believe, is like a mental disorder. It's whereby you, you're so confused, you're so lied to, in a way, something is so truly false, but you're believing it, okay? So, that people will believe a lie. You know it's a lie, but you believe it, okay? You know it's a lie 100%, and you will believe it. That is what we call a strong delusion. Now, this great deception or delusion is associated with the satanic work of the Antichrist and his displays of power through signs and wonders which serve the lie. Remember in verse 9, look at this kind of, <clears throat> this kind of uh, lies. Even him... Who is coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they may be saved. You see, there'll be some kind of deceiving, deception, okay? Okay, a strong delusion which will be happening in the last days. Now, the same passage in 2 Thessalonians also speaks of a great apostasy, okay, that will take place before the man of lawlessness is revealed. The man of lawlessness. This is the Antichrist, okay, who is also called the son of perdition. Now, similar apostasies are predicted elsewhere. For example, we see in the uh, uh, that uh, the Spirit clearly says in latter times, People will abandon the faith. Remember what the Bible says in the book of uh, 1 Timothy. Okay, 4 verses 1. It speaks about this kind of uh, apostasy which will be falling uh, uh, to, to man. Okay, the Bible says, Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines. Doctrines of who? Devils. Okay, so now, <laughs> of course, people are complicit in the deception because they reject the truth and they refer lies. You see, the doctrine of devils speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. When you sear something with a hot iron, what, what have you done? It's like when you, when you keep on, have, have you ever beaten someone so much until they become resistant to the beatings? Okay. That, that's exactly how their conscience will be seared with a hot iron, okay? So the Bible says when this man of, uh, man of sin or the son of perdition comes through, he will give people what we call the doctrines of devils. And instead of people believing what is true, they'll start believing in lies. And they'll not put up with anything which is sound. The, you'll be telling them that Jesus saves. They say, no, 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 we can save ourselves. It's the blood of Jesus which saves. They tell you, no, 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 no. You see, you're saved by your works. Because I'm baptized, I'm saved. Because I'm doing this, I'm saved. Because I go to church, I'm saved. Because of this and this and this. You, you see, people will love some doctrines of devils and listen to what their itching ears want to tell them. You know what is an itching ear? It's like something uh, 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 you enjoy when I tell you, oh, you will make it. I prophesy to you. I prophesy to you these lies. You'll buy a car next year. You'll buy a good house next year. You'll do. Th that is what their itching ears want to hear. They don't want to hear that they are sinners and they are supposed to go to hell unless they believe the gospel. They don't want to hear that one. They are saying, no, 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 don't tell us about how bad we are. Tell us how good we are, how Jesus loves us. Those are doctrines of devils. See what the Bible says in 2 Timothy 4, 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap 
to themselves teachers having itching ears, itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. They will hate the truth and love lies and shall be turned into fables. Are you seeing this? They will have itching ears. They just enjoy lies. Now, Jesus spoke ab uh, about a time to come when deception, okay, deception will be uh, too much, especially when uh, false messiahs and false prophets will appear. Now, even the people of God should be deceived if it was not for God's providential protection. The Bible says, even the people of God, the, the, the elect of God, I don't know if I have a slide on that, but let me just stick here. The, the elect of God will be, will be lied to if it were possible. <laughs> let me show you. In uh, Matthew, Matthew uh, 24, verse 24 it tells us about this that deception in the last days will be so much see for there shall rise false christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible meaning it is not possible to deceive people who are born again if it were possible they sh they shall deceive the very elect if it were possible Okay, but it's not possible because you cannot lose your salvation. You can't lose your salvation. Okay, also the book of Mark 13 uh, verses 5 tells us about this. Okay, can you see here? And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed lest any man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, say, I am Christ and shall deceive many. And it goes on and on in the book of Luke 21.8. It all speaks about this deception, grand deceptions. And of all these deceptions, this we have to understand that they are all instigated by the devil. However, 2 Thessalonians 2.11 also speaks of the deception, okay, as God's punishment on people who receive to believe the truth. And the context seems to be similar to that of, uh, of the gospel passages above, which I've just read to you, and which speak about one who will come and uh, be very much deceptive, okay? The one who is coming will be very, very, very much deceptive. Let me just take you back there to Second uh, Thessalonians uh, 2, 9, okay? 2 verses 9, okay? The one who is coming is very deceptive, absolutely. See, even him who is coming, the Antichrist, is after the working of Satan. He will not be working with his own power. With all power and signs and lying wonders. See, see. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, he will be deceiving people into unrighteous deeds. Are you seeing the point? In them that perish. Because all those who will be deceived, they will all perish. Because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. They didn't want the truth. They hated the truth, and that's why they'll be damned to hell, okay? So we see similar pattern in uh, Romans 1, 18 to 25, where people reject God's truth for so long that he simply abandons them to their own sinfulness. They have, as it were, crossed the point of no return. Do you know you can sin so much until you cross the point of no return? Do you know you can sin so much until you, you, you reach somewhere? It's okay. God just says, okay, continue, continue. Just be reprobates. Do whatever you want, okay? Do whatever you want. It's, you want it like that? See, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the, who hold the truth in unrighteousness because that they, that which may be known of God is manifest in them for God has showed it unto them. Okay? Everything that you need to know about God. It has been shown to you. Even the world, you can see. You can just check the sky, see all, everything is, is pointing that God is there. And you still deny Him. Look at this. For the invisible things of Him, from the creation of the world, are clearly seen. Being understood by the things that are made, even His eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Have you, have you looked at some atheists and you asked, Come on, don't these people see that God exists? Can't they see? Can't they see that they can't make themselves? How can you explain uh, uh, all those, uh, almost uh, um, uh, the, 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 the codes which are written in the DNA? 
My friend, how can you explain that? And they are all unique and still you say you came from a monkey. I wonder what's wrong with the people. Because that when they knew God, these people, they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image being made like a corruptible man to birds and to four-footed beasts and creeping things. You see, instead of believing in the God who saved them, they create something that you cannot even explain. And you wonder, what is wrong with the people? What is wrong with the world of the people today? They are creating some things which they cannot even explain themselves. You ask somebody, why are you worshipping some weird nature of uh, the, uh, uh, s -s -s some weird things? Why are you worshipping all those kind of things? Why do you hate the truth so much? But they'll tell you, oh, we worship this because we know, we know this and this and this. We, you know, uh, if you ask the Catholics, why do you have idols in the church? They'll say, oh, these idols, they are helping us to pray. And yet God said very well, vividly, don't create any image of anything in heaven, on earth, even below, which represents anything to do with me. I, I use, are you understanding the point? But these people, they don't love the truth. They love a bunch of lies. See here. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the incorruptible God or uncorruptible God to an image being made unto the corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. This is what I see in Catholics. It looks like a museum. Wherefore God gave them to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. You see, when you do sin so much, God will just tell you, okay, that's what you want. It's fine. I'm giving you to uncleanness. Through the lust of your own heart. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Are, are you seeing the point? Are you seeing people who hated the truth? What's going to happen to them? And you have to understand one thing. The same thing happened to Pharaoh. Okay. The same thing happened to Pharaoh. After Pharaoh refused to let the Israelites leave Egypt, God hardened his heart. He told him, okay, you have refused, then I harden your heart. It was not as though Pharaoh would have been an obedient follower of the Lord if God had not hardened his heart. You know, there are people who say, oh, it is God who hardened the heart of Pharaoh. No, Pharaoh refused and God told him, okay, this is what you want, I'm going to harden your heart. And Pharaoh set his heart against God and simply confirmed all Okay? All times Pharaoh's decision. Okay? It's, it's like you have created something. You have created a, 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 something with, a, you know, some, some mud. You have created maybe a cup with using some mud. And God hardens that cup. Then at the end of the day, the cup will never change to be a plate. Okay? God has just hardened what is with you. What is with you? Go and read the book of Exodus 8, 15, uh, 32, uh, uh, also Exodus 9, 34, and Exodus 10, verses 1. You will read how God hardened the heart of Pharaoh because that is what he wanted. That's what he wanted. Okay? So, the deception spoken in the Gospels, okay, has to do with false prophets or messiahs who will appear and seem to be authenticated by miracles. Have you seen people today who is like they say this pastor is so great because he shows us miracles. It's like you're authenticating the grace of God through miracles. Taking the futurist positions, we can we 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 see if you take the futurist position of, of these kind of things, we see the great deception spoken of in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 as a future event which is associated with the coming of the Antichrist after the rapture of the church. Okay? Are you seeing this? Because uh, the Bible tells us very well, those who are perishing will willingly embrace the imitation and follow the beast of the end times. And they will perish because they refuse the love of the truth. Okay? I don't know what to explain because people, people are just lost. And I say, it will be what it will be. It, it, is, it, it is what it is, you know. And uh, 
we don't know exactly what the great deception will be. That's that. That's for a fact. We don't understand what it will be. Uh, only that we know it will be a strong delusion, which is capable uh, of swaying the world's allegiance towards the Antichrist. Okay? It will be swaying people towards the Antichrist. And the Bible says that in the time of the Antichrist and the false prophet, there will be many signs, many, 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 many signs to bolster... Uh, many signs to bolster their lies. The, the lies does the prophets performed with great signs. The, back, we see the Bible telling us that these prophets or these false prophets led by the Antichrist and the false prophet, they, they, they will do so many signs. Even some of them will be so creepy. Okay? So creepy. And you'll be like, what? What happens? Let me show you one of the things eh, that uh, is spoken here. In Revelation 13, verses uh, 13, the Bible tells us about this. It says, and he does great wonders. You see, if you love uh, signs and wonders, see, Antichrist will give so many great wonders that you'll not even believe. And he does great wonders so that he makes fire come down from heaven, from the earth in the sight of men. And he sees them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had wound by sword and did live. You see, even the Antichrist will be, he will be killed and then he will resurrect. Are you seeing this point? He'll be killed and then he'll resurrect. So he will do some wonders and you'll be like, what? My friends, it will be so hard to imagine. Because the deception during the tribulation will be worse than all of Satan's other deceptions. And the Antichrist will have that great wound. Basically, he'll be killed. And, he's, and he will be healed. Uh, uh, he'll, he'll die and resurrect. And... Come on, my friends, my friends, if there is a lot of deception which has ever happened, this, this, this time it will happen so much, okay? The Bible tells us very well, look, he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So he'll be able even to create, uh, to make an image, something to speak. I don't want to speak about what is uh, this thing which will speak. But uh, if you just go, uh, for example, go to BitChute and uh, BitChute.com and just see uh, 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 things concerning uh, people creating people. You know, I, I don't want to use the word. Eh? It's a word which starts with uh, C, okay? C-L-O-N-E, uh, okay? C-O-C-L-O-N-E. O N E, okay. I don't want to mention so much because I don't want issues. But just go and read about that and go and understand. My friend, right now they even giving life, giving life to some things. And you have to ask yourself if this deception will be like this in the end times, people have to believe the truth of the gospel. If you'll not believe, my friends will be deceived so so much. So, so much. Have you seen some people trying to say, they, oh, we are raising the dead. Oh, if you're raising the dead, why don't not just get into a mortuary and uh, raise all the people there? Deception will be so much. And in the broader sense, anyone who rejects the truth of God is being deceived. And at some point, God may simply um, abandon you to the deception that he has, you have willingly embraced. And there are plenty of false teachers today who claim to teach God's word. There are so many, very many of them who claim to teach God's word. Some claim to be Christian, some claim to be uh, to bring a word from, from God from outside of the Bible and things like that. I'm sure you have seen people who say, oh, God showed me a vision and this vision is so different from the Bible. Even the Bible cannot comprehend. It is vitally important that every Christian compare every teaching with all the Bible says and to spend time necessary to evaluate what is being taught. This is the mission of us. And that's, and that's why we try to make sure that we speak to you and we speak so much and we tell you the gospel so that you can understand what the Bible is talking about. And we try to keep with, constantly with that mission. 
and would encourage every person who hears these words to compare what the Bible says with what we say and with what every, uh, uh, every other person says, your pastor, me, anyone else, always compare with the Bible. If I'm speaking the, 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 a lie, please stay away from me. If someone else is speaking a lie, stay away from him. Don't say, oh, this person is so much anointed, he cannot lie. No, come on, we are not gods. Compare everything with the Bible. Really, really important. And that's why you have to understand what is the gospel. Because many people have diluted salvation and made it to be works. Salvation is not of works. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. It is not of works. It is the gift of God. So that anyone, no one should ever boast. So what is the gospel? The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It is the good news about what Jesus did for us. What did Jesus do? Jesus died for our sins. While we were still sinners, Jesus died for our sins. He was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Why did he have to die? So that you can be saved. How did he die? He died by shedding his blood at the cross. Because without shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. The book of Hebrews tells us. Why the blood? Why, why, why? Why the essence of blood? If Jesus could have died probably by heart attack or drowning in water, could there be salvation? Why blood is so much insisted? Because the Bible tells us the life of the flesh is in the blood and I've given you the blood upon the altar to make atonement for your souls. Leviticus 17.11 So the blood had to be there for forgiveness of sins. But it's not just any ordinary blood. It is the blood of someone who is innocent so that he can redeem those who are guilty. And that man is Jesus. 2,000 years ago, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. My friends, all you need to do is obey. And after that, just confess to Christ what you have believed, and he will be able to save you. Just tell him, Jesus, I understand that you died for my sins. You were buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And I agree, and I receive that atonement by faith. Amen. And once you do that, my friends, you're saved, sealed, and sanctified unto the day of redemption. Hope this has been a blessing to you. Hope it has encouraged you. Hope you have learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And also you can share the video to other people so that they can learn and uh, understand. And also you can uh, subscribe to our channel so that you can be able to watch more. And hit the notification button so that whenever we post a new video, you're the first one to get a message, okay? Also, in the description, we have a couple of other channels from BitChute to uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that. You can check and also share to your friends so that you can be able to be blessed together with us. God bless you and have a blessed time.